we're working on the Seaside Shorts um, Drama Festival that's going to happen on the 12th of July and um, we're going to have a first look at the, uh, at the scripts from the four writers who've been commissioned for it and have been mentored by more experienced writers and um, we're going to have a read through with our young actors and see where they're at and then see how we might want to develop them after that and make any last minute changes before we uh, put them into the production. So it's quite exciting really. And the idea is that, you know, when you're looking at plays, the best way to think about how you're going to edit them or whether they're working or not is to do them practically and live, which is the whole point of the project. And it gives um, the young actors a chance to engage with new writing. So that's what we're, hopefully that'll all work tonight and we'll, we'll be able to, we'll be able to see what needs doing on the last parts of the plays to get them uh, into shape. It's very exciting to see the new plays coming into being from the different writers with the different uh, mentors. I think it's a good variety of plays that we've got and we'll really be able to see that um, tonight when we, we hear them read for the first time. It's a um, very exciting project, the Seaside Shorts. We're, tonight we're having to read the first read through of the plays um, with the young actors that we've already been working with. We're running a series of workshops for them to develop their skills as actors and then um, putting on the short play festival. So it'll be all exciting. It's um, always great working with young actors and uh, this is the first project we've done at Tuned In so hopefully it'll be well supported. We'll see how the project develops. Um, we're going to uh, run through my play which is called um, Cyber Whispers and, and we're just going to see uh, you know, how, how, we, how the words sound and um, plan about what's going to happen and how the actors are going to act it out. Right, well tonight um, I've, we've come to um, hear um, the drama group read the, um, the short plays that we've written, uh, which should be really interesting and a good, a good opportunity to like, actually hear uh, what they sound like, uh, which will inform the rest of the work. Before I did my MA, um, although I've got an English degree, I'd never actually written anything before. I think I've really developed you know from the beginning to where I am now when I look at my first play and to what I've done now uh, there's a big difference and that's been through uh, the support of Bob and, uh, and Andy. Blocking through the, the plays actually be given the script so we know what characters are playing now and um, so things have become a bit good. more clearer yeah, for the, so the festival yeah. so yeah we're in really enjoyable day there. Well today we've had our first rehearsals um, and they've been coming on really nice so I managed to sit in on a couple of rehearsals and I've been directing my piece, which is quite a physical piece, so it's quite challenging. Well, the whole process is to give young people the opportunity to act in plays written specifically with them in mind, um, and to give writers that are um, just emerging, to give them the chance to have their pieces heard and then hopefully develop them into fuller plays. It's to encourage young people to get into drama um, and to give them the chance to work with professionals, um, with the directors and the writers. It's been really nice to work so directly with the directors and to have met the writers beforehand so we know the true intentions of the players that we're in. I've been starting to work on the scripts and it's been really good to see where the scripts have come from and try to see where they're going. I've had a first look at the scripts and uh, found out what the parts are in all the plays and to be honest I think God can save me. <laughs> I don't think he can. It's going to be a really, really good festival. We've been rehearsing uh, the, the script, bringing it to life. Um, I'm blocking out the movements of uh, where the action is going to happen. So it's, it's taking shape. I'm really pleased with the way it's coming on. I'm really happy with the script because it's very sharp and snappy. I feel good that I've got a sense of the, the, the physical dynamics of it now. Today is the, the day of the show, so we're busy doing final rehearsals. We've got a tech run shortly. The actors are all just having some lunch and then we're going to go straight into a tech run and the doors open at five. Okay, we're building up to the opening of the Seaside Shorts Festival. Um, the audience are coming in early, there's some here already, and we're just that nervous moment where we're waiting to see um, our audience turn up and the actors are all sat at the side, ready to, ready to go, staying calm. It's this very exciting moment. And um, I'm up in the technical box, I'm gonna be helping out with the, uh, helping out with the technician to make sure that all the sound and lighting cues go all right. And uh, it's that point in the theatre which is full of expectation and, um, and you're just waiting to see how great it's going to go down with the audience. It's very exciting. It's great to think that there's going to be four plays that have never been seen anywhere in the world before seen here today. 
and who knows, <laughs> one of them might go on to be famous. So now we're just waiting for the judges to decide on which is the best written piece and the prize will be for that piece to be developed into a fuller show. So I think we should hand over to our... Our chair of the panel. Our chair of the panel. Well, <laughs> I think David was fully <laughs> to be in chair, but David's going to give David's it a little bit voluntarily elected. Yes. The judge was Maria and Ray and him. And uh, really thanks for coming along. Fundamentally, the one that we would like to see more of, and we felt kind of hit the floor running straight away, and will kind of <coughs> progress to be part of the writing festival next year at Middlesbrough Theatre in the first week of March. <laughs> Please come along. Um, was Last One Standing by Scarlet Pink, which is the very last one, uh, with these three <laughs> lovely actors. Um, so that is the one that we would like to see much more of. But Actually, we'd probably like to see a lot more of all of the others, but that's the one that we're <laughs> keen on. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you very much for organising it, guys. Um, and thank you for letting me ramble to you. Thank you very much. And insane. Thank you. Thank you. Writers, I'll talk to you all and um, we'll see what we can do to help develop you. Thank you. Next. I enjoyed it very much. I think the local aspect of it and the, uh, and the accents and stuff and the, yeah, the use of the tea side sort of vernacular and stuff like that, yeah. I really enjoyed them um, and uh, I expected to, uh, to see much shorter, less well developed plays but I got a quite nice surprise because um, they, you know, they, they're coming on really nicely and I saw some really good acting too. What was it about the winning play that made you choose that play? that one we felt like there was a really lovely use of language and the characters felt really developed. It was a really exciting piece and it yeah. had its own style. Yeah, I was going to say the style was there from the beginning and it, it hooked us completely and went through. I didn't feel that the actors dropped that at all um, and just the, the themes I felt were very heavy and that they were dealt with so well from young actors yeah. and I thought that was brilliant. I think it's a very nature as well that it seemed very natural to all three actors and when writing, kind of when acting is done like that and writing kind of then it's kind of personified and becomes that extra person in the room and I think you had that sense of that happening with that last piece that you didn't necessarily get with the others that felt the most kind of um, completed and yeah. established in that Ooh. sense. I really liked uh, how uh, simplistic the staging was for the last mm. one and that it, it felt that because that was so simplistic there was so much room to go yeah. where then you were really focused on the writing and the acting and it wasn't clotted with anything else. You were you were able to just grasp what was happening and why yeah. it was happening. Yeah. Um, 
which I really like. And it was very, for a lot of it, it was quite still as well, and kind of that just gives that freedom for those words to be heard and yeah. for those choices to be made, and it doesn't get muddied by kind of too much. And it kind of draws you in, naturally, as an audience, that kind of thing. There was, there was a wonderful moment of silence in the last one, and I felt that that wasn't present in the other plays, where so much was said in that silence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, if you can do that in 10 minutes, then that's quite exciting to see yeah. where it'll go. The acting style was there from the beginning and didn't, didn't falter. Mm -hmm. The physicality of all three of the actors was there. Um, they felt and, and very they relaxed and sort of sure of their characters and they allowed themselves space to sort of play within the scene and they didn't, even though it was a short piece, it was a ten minute piece, they didn't feel like they needed to rush through their dialogue and it was all very naturalistic mm -hmm. and, and they did a really great job. Really, really interesting to see four new pieces of work yeah. um, and lots of brilliant young people performing um, and thank you for having us. Yeah, yeah thank you. We've had a lovely time. I'm feeling really happy that uh, the judges gave such positive comments, that we had such a lovely audience, but I'm also really sad that it's over um, and that you know, I won't be meeting with the actors on Wednesday to rehearse, but it's been such a success. I'm really proud of everybody that was involved.